Hi everybody, it's Kim Bergen Jackson, administrator at Oak Knoll, and I'm coming to you. I'm taping on the 25th of October for your viewing on the 26th. Um, happy to say that I'm back from Denver and on my way to Mexico. So if you feel like you never see me, that's pretty accurate for this month. It's been crazy. Um, this is an actual vacation though, so I'm very excited. We've never been to Mexico, so uh, I, I'm hoping for uh, beach time and laying around time and I'm taking sunscreen, so nobody worry about me. Um, my COVID update for this week is uh, not too bad. There are currently two staff out with COVID and two residents in independent living uh, at the main campus. I think that's gonna be pretty standard moving forward to have a few spotty cases here and there, but uh, everybody is well protected with the vaccines and um, I think they're anticipating a slight spike in the fall, um, but hopefully we won't see any illnesses like we've seen in the past. So for now, the four people who are positive are just mildly symptomatic. Uh, the staff are at home recovering and the residents are quarantining in their apartments and recovering and we're keeping an eye on everybody. Um, Johnson County in general did go up in the county positivity uh, this week just slightly, which I also think we're going to see it ebb and flow, and so I'm not uh, too alarmed about that. There's no burden on the hospital system. Uh, yesterday, there were 10 adult inpatients at UIHC and one pediatric patient, so 11 is pretty low, uh, almost to single digits, I'm happy to say. Of course, I don't have any information uh, on Mercy Hospital. So if you have not yet received your booster, I can't encourage you enough to get that uh, bivalent booster done. Uh, we do have some doses available in the health center if you need one. Otherwise, they're available at all of the pharmacies uh, and your doctor's office can recommend you as well. So. Uh, that's really all I have on the COVID update, but I did want to take advantage of my time with you today and talk to you about the uh, awesome and amazing party. You should have all received an invitation to the Candyland party um, with special entertainment featuring Sweetie and the Toothaches. That's kind of funny to me that the whole party is around candy because of the name of the band. So... Um, during COVID, we missed a lot. The activities that we're known for here and the events and the gatherings and the fun and the drinking and the eating. And so I am uh, just thrilled uh, with the events committee here. Um, the energy that they have to create such events. So hi, Cam and hi, hi Lindsay. Hi. Tell us a little bit about your party. So no, Friday, November 4th, from 5.30 to 7.30, up in the Hyden Room, will be the Candyland Party with Sweetie and the Toothaches. We'll have dinner featuring honey mustard chicken, some green beans, mashed potatoes, tons of desserts, and tons of candy. And specialty drinks. Yeah, specialty drinks. Mm -hmm. Red raspberry champagne punch. As well as some jello shots. Oh, yeah. For a little Ooh. fun twist to the evening. We'll have a dance floor, as always, for our party, and we're just very excited to dress in bright colors and enjoy a fun evening with everyone. It should be fun music and dancing, and everybody loves Chase and Emily Garrett. Yep, that's right. So please come out and uh, join the fun. Um, again, it's Friday, November 4th, 5.30 to 7.30. Chase and Emily Garrett, who are also known as Sweetie and the Toothaches. So have a great week. I'll be back November 8th, and I'll record on November 9th. Uh, stay well and have fun. <laughs>